Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2008, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. Okay, so today I'd like to talk, uh, I'd like to answer the question, is it worth learning uh, PHP in 2023? Well, I'm a PHP programmer and I've been a PHP programmer for a long time and uh, this is just my opinion but I believe this is uh, pretty accurate. So uh, PHP is part of the open source movement. Uh, it consists of, of, of you know all the LAMP stack which is Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. Uh, PHP was created in 95, a community formed to uh, improve PHP around the same time, maybe a year later, and uh, so PHP is now up to version 8. We were on 5 for about 10 years, there was never a 6, 7 was introduced, uh, big improvement over 5, and uh, that has since uh, gone out of scope. And so now we ha we're in 8, uh, PHP 8, version 8. Uh, very seasoned application uh, programming language. Um, I would recommend it to anybody that wants to do web stuff. Uh, so uh, let's talk about all of this stuff. So uh, every host uh, supports PHP and has for at least 15 years, if not 20. Uh, PHP first, it was it, about 20 years ago, it was really unclear who was going to become the, uh, the dominant programming language. But about that time, PHP started to break out. Uh, and so now uh, pretty much all the hosting providers uh, support PHP. And of course, you wanna, you're going to want to be on a, um, a Linux server. So it's all open source. Uh, it's all good stuff. Uh, so... Uh, about 80% of the web runs PHP in some fashion, 80%. So it's well ingrained. There's billions of websites out there. So uh, you're going to find a lot of PHP. There's a lot of demand for PHP developers. Um, I think the entry level is about 60K. Uh, the median, let's make sure I get that clear. It's the median range is about 92,000. And uh, the very up, upward uh, part of the pay scale would be about $160,000 a year. That's a lot of dough. I don't know anybody making that much money, but I know some people that are doing extremely well. So um, let's see. So WordPress, which is a content management system, was created using uh, PHP, and it has about 30% market share. So there's a, if, if you niche down, from PHP to WordPress, you've got a lot of opportunity out there to make themes, plugins, and so on, and just general support. Uh, WooCommerce is the fastest growing uh, shopping cart uh, application, and it is uh, it was written in PHP. It is a, a WordPress plugin, and uh, you have like Drupal, which is on the top end. It's an enterprise application. Uh, some people call it a content management system. I, I would call it that, but I would all say it's uh, it's a good foundation for creating web apps, uh, if that's the way you want to go. We have Laravel, uh, which is a framework, um, and it's been out there a good 10 years or so. It's extremely uh, popular amongst PHP programmers. Uh, it might be the dominant um uh, framework, PHP framework. Uh, I don't personally use it, but um, a lot of people swear by it. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, PHP has dominated the web for probably 20 years. Uh, and, and I'm going to guess it's going to be a strong contender for at least 10 more years. And given that 80% of the web is running uh, PHP, I'm going to say that uh, PHP is going to linger on uh, forever. Uh, nothing ever lasts forever, but it's going to linger on forever. There, there might be another program come out that that uh, dominates it, but it's going to take a long time for it to take over, uh, at least ten years, if not twenty. So, yeah, if you chose, if you choose 
uh, PHP, uh, you're making a good choice. It's, you're going to have stability for a long, long, long time. Um, it's easy to learn. There's a lot of support uh, out on the internet. So uh, when I first started, uh, you would have to go to the user groups and they would uh, help you with any questions or uh, help you clarify things. Uh, today, pretty much everything's documented on the web. You do a search uh, and you'll find an answer. So all you need is Google and uh, a web browser and a search and you'll find an answer. And there's a lot of documentation out there. There's a lot of tutorials. Uh, it's, it's just, yeah, you're gonna win with this language. Let me tell you what. Um, so, okay, we talked about the pay. Uh, we talked about how uh, PHP is dominant on the web. Uh, and the opportunity that's out there, you can niche down. Uh, there's several opportunities like Laravel. You can get into custom application development with Laravel. Uh, you could uh, become a WordPress developer. You could become a, uh, a generic uh, a PHP developer and, and work on things that, uh, you know, different applications are out there. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity. Yeah, I, I think it's a, an excellent uh, choice for 2023. If you would, please subscribe. And if you found this uh, content useful, please give it a like and hit that notification bell. And I hope you have a great day.